How does the hot-headed, short-tempered protean creator of the Coast Guard, founder of the New York Post, ardently abuse his cabinet post, destroy his reputation? Welcome, folks, to the Adams administration. Jefferson's the runner-up, which makes him the vice president. Washington can't help you now no more, Mr. Nice President. Adams fires Hamilton, calling him the Creole bastard in his taunts. No. Hamilton publishes his response. An open letter to the fat, arrogant, anti-charismatic, national embarrassment known as President John Adams. Shit. The man's irrational, he claims that I'm in league with Britain in some vast international intrigue. Bitch, please, you wouldn't know what I'm doing. You're always going berserk, but you never show up to work. Give my regards to Abigail next time you write about my lack of moral compass. At least I do my job up in this rumpus. The line is behind me, I crossed it again. Well, the president lost it again. Oh, such a rough life. Better run to your wife, you're the bosses in Boston again. Let me ask you a question. Who sits at your desk when you're in Massachusetts? You were calling you a dick back in 76, and you haven't done anything new since. You since, with no sense. You'll die of irrelevance. Go ahead, you can call me the devil. You spot him, I love you. You spot him, malevolence. Say hi to the Jeffersons and the spies all around me. Maybe they can confirm. I don't care if I kill my career with this letter. I'm confining you to one term. You fat mother. He's out of control. No, it's fine. He's out of power, he holds no office, and he just destroyed the only other significant member of his party. He's a Where's host unto himself. As long as he can hold a pen, he's a threat. Let's let him know what we know. <laughs>